Hey guys, welcome to the third C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to have a message box be displayed when you click on a button or hover over it and a few more events. Alright, so all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button, so just go over to your toolbox and just drag a button onto your form right here. Alright, so in order to have a message box be displayed when your button is clicked, just go ahead and double click on your button right here. Alright, so right inside of these two uh, brackets right here is all the code that will be executed whenever the button is clicked. Alright, so in order to have a message box be displayed, we're just going to want to type out message box. And before we actually move any further, I'm going to talk about what this thing is that popped up right here. This thing that pops up right here is called IntelliSense. And whenever you begin typing, it will basically show up and tell you all the different things that you can actually type. So we want to have a message box be displayed, so we're going to go ahead and hit enter right here. And it will auto type that out for us so that we don't have to type it out ourselves. And if you get really good with this and can program a lot, you'll see or find yourself just typing a few letters and then just hitting enter. And it makes programming and typing much faster. Alright, and now we want to have this message box be shown. So we're just going to press dot and then show. And again, IntelliSense pops up right here and we didn't even have to do anything. We can just move up and down with our arrow keys and then just hit enter and it'll auto type out show for us so we don't have to type that out. Alright, and in order to have this message box be shown, we're just going to want to put two parentheses. And inside of these parentheses is called parameters. And to find out what you have to put inside of here, just put one parenthesis up and you'll see IntelliSense will pop right up and tell you what to type and it says string text right here. Now, um, a string is just basically text, and it's calling for you to pass text through these parameters right here, or inside of these parentheses. And then it also gives you a little description of what this string will do, or this text will do. It says displays a message box with specific text. So if we were to type in um, hello right here, it'll show a message box saying hello right inside of it. Now, on, to end every single line of code that you type, you're just going to want to put a semicolon. And that will just tell the C Sharp compiler that the line is finished and it's done. Alright, so once again, we're just going to want to type out message box here to have a message box be shown. And then we just need to say dot show to actually show the message box. And then inside of these two parentheses right here, it's called parameters. And we're going to want to pass through a string or text. So we just have to type out two quotes to represent the text and then just inside of there we're just going to want to type out the text that we want to be displayed inside of the message box and I just wanted to say hello inside of the message box. Alright so now let's just run our application so let's go up here and hit this green arrow and start debugging and our application should load and now when we click our button we should get a message box shown. Yep it says hello. Perfect. Now one more thing I'm going to show you about having a message box is if you just put a comma right here and say something else, this will be the text on top of the message box or the title of the message box. So again, it just calls for string text. So text we just want to pass through here again. So again, we're just going to want to put the two quotes and then inside of here, the text that we want to appear on top of our message box or as the message box's title. So I'm just going to make it say my title, but you're obviously going to want to make it something more descriptive of what your actual message box is. For example, if it was an error telling the user they did something wrong, you could make it say error on top of there or something like that. Alright, so let's just go ahead and debug here and click this button again. We should get a message box. Yep, and it says hello. And as you can see, the title of the message box says my title. And that's because we wrote my title right in there. Alright, so let's say we want to have this message box be displayed when the user hovers their mouse over the button. Well, to find more events, you're just going to want to select your button right here and then go over and hit this little lightning bolt right there, and that is the events tab. So just go ahead and click that, and then these are all of the events that can occur um, for your button. So if you wanted the message box to show whenever you hover your mouse over your button, just go down to mouse hover right there, and then just double click on it. But before we do that, you can see right down there, it tells you um, what this event really is. It says, occurs when the mouse remains stationary inside of the control for an amount of time. And a control is just basically anything outside of the form. So this button is a control. So whenever the user basically hovers your mouse over this button, this event will occur. So we're just going to double click on this right here. And now all the code inside of these two brackets will occur 
whenever the user hovers their mouse over the button. And we're just going to have a message box show, so we're just going to type message box dot show, and again we can just hit enter instead of actually typing out the entire word. And we're just going to have this message box say, you are hovering your mouse over the button. Alright, so now let's just go ahead and debug and see if it works. So now when we hover our mouse over the button, we get a message box saying you are hovering your mouse over the button. And again, that's because we selected our control, went over to the events right here, and double clicked on mouse hover. And then when we did that, it generated this code right here. And then inside of these two brackets, um, this code will be executed whenever you hover your mouse over the button. So we just had a message box be displayed telling the user that they were hovering their mouse over the button. But then if we go to click on our button, we should get a message box saying, um, hello, and the title should say my title. Because remember, whenever the user clicks on the uh, button, we get this message box saying, uh, hello, and then the title of the message box is just my title. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial on displaying message boxes. So, see you guys.